Diary of Anxiety, Entry 1 Intention of this diary From time to time, anxious thoughts enter my mind, especially in the early hours of the morning. One must wonder, what is it about the early hours that harbours such thoughts? It is the intention of this diary to log such wandering thoughts, thoughts that pervade my mind and prevent me from concentrating on more important matters. It is hoped that by writing these thoughts down, a window will be opened into my mind, and the true reason for these thoughts will be revealed. I will then challenge these anxious thoughts, and offer rational steps that can be undertaken. These thoughts must be dealt with, or expelled. As a single footstep will not make a path on the earth, so a single thought will not make a pathway in the mind. To make a deep physical path, we walk again and again. To make a deep mental path, we must think over and over the kind of thoughts we wish to dominate our lives. Henry David Thoreau Thursday, 5th of October, 2017 I awoke with feelings of guilt of what I had done the previous day. I went to collect my son from school, as is my usual custom, and he seemed happy that I was there. We sat down on a nearby bench to finish off his afternoon tea and commence his homework. As per class guidelines, I helped him with his reading. There is a list of words that he must read each day in an order determined by me. However, he refused and wanted to read them in a different order. I was not pleased, and insisted that he read them in the order that I had stated. He became upset and started asking, Why? Why? He was physically upset and on the verge of crying. However, I didn't back down, and he was upset all afternoon. I know now I made a terrible mistake. He was not asking something unreasonable. It would not have hurt his learning if we read the words in a different order. I was the one that did something unreasonable. To right my wrong, I apologised this morning. He seemed much happier than yesterday. I must remember that just because I say something, just because I am his father, does not mean that he has to agree with me, and it certainly does not mean that I am right. I was also anxious about my superannuation, that is, government-mandated retirement savings. I feel I am always getting the short end of the stick. My employer only pays into a particular fund, UniSuper. I have no choice in the matter. I can, once a year, roll over all funds to a separate super fund, which I normally do around the end of the year. My other fund is with ING Living Super. They used to be good and have extremely low fees, however, in the last few months, they have increased their fees drastically. It's a shame, but one I must deal with. By keeping low amounts in UniSuper, I lose a lot in monthly upkeep fees. ING is no longer worth it, but I have a lot of money tied up in term deposits with them. These are due to end by the end of the year. The solution is simple. I roll over all my funds to UniSuper at the end of the year. ING fees are not competitive anymore. Despite me loathing compulsory superannuation, I must deal with it. If all it takes is to put all my money into a single account, then so be it. Finn